There are certain things going on in us right now that are trying to make us become the cosmic butterfly. But they are being shut down or being reorchestrated into different behavioral patterns or distracting us to get our lusts going, which shuts down the Kundalini necessary to raise the present consciousness to that level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you want to build a cocoon? If you are feeling the need to build a cocoon, then why are you rejecting or uh, why are you resisting that feeling? But then, the Brother Valentine, what is the feeling? How do I identify the feeling of a cocoon? I can't tell you. Because you may have another escape hatch, another escape door, altogether different from mine. We're going through a door, yeah, but many of us probably have a whole other way of synchronizing through it. But I do know that the dimension above us must be drawn into us. We must draw all aspects of our dimension by magnetizing every part of us. What I talked about in my, in my book of the earth called consciousness accretion. By absorbing all energy, life energies in this present paradigm to the magnetic core of our being, we will draw all that is highest to this level and then by, very, by the very encompassing of these energies, we will be transported to the next dimension, immediately, scientifically. We have to pull the greater parts of the dimensions we wish to go into to create the cocoon from within. Where the butterfly creates it without, we create it within. And some of us already started the process. Some of us have already said, listen, this physical shell is an illusion. I'm tired of decorating the shit. I'm tired of having to bathe it, wash it, clean it. And you can go outside on the street and see a bunch of them already start their cocoon. Well, you say, well, damn, do I have to go outside on the street, get a cup, sit down and play a harmonica? Maybe. But it sure means that you have adapted, you have not, you have adapted to your inevitability and that is that you are greater than what you perceive yourself or have been made to perceive yourself to be. And right now you're locked down in that perception. So what are you saying? What do I go home and do? Well, no, we're not going to talk about that. I want you to start thinking about the fact that everything you think you know, you don't know. You've only been regurgitating shit that you've been conditioned to believe is real. What have you found out that has essentially touched you from within by yourself? What have you touched yourself from within with? What have you gone and sought that was instantaneous consciousness and knowledge in the moment? Not from reading a fucking book. What have you come to the knowledge of yourself? I told you there is the doer, the thinker and the knower. When last have you had any contact with your knower? You've been too busy with the doer and the thinker. The knower has the formula for your escape. But wait a minute now. I'm going to put a scenario up to everybody. What if? What if? You, learning the principles of fasting and meditation. You don't buy shit from none of the stores for a month. You don't go to the fucking subways to go to work for a month. You don't turn on your lights for a month. You don't do shit, the television, nothing. You shut this bad thing down for a month. Can you do that? Can you shut down the habits that you have formed? Can you stop doing the bullshit that keeps this beast keeping you in misery? No, because you like your television. You like your Mickey D hamburger. You like all this shit. You like to be entertained. But you don't want to suffer. You don't want them Miss Meal cramps. You don't want to deal with what it is that comes down when you don't have food or drink. You don't want to shut him down at the sauce because if you ain't buying shit, guess what? That motherfucker will come to you hat in hand. He will find a way to find you to do something for him because the secret behind this shit is because you are participating in his shit. The more you participate, the more powerful he gets. You stop participating, 
Gandhi, that motherfucker showed you what the deal was. He stopped doing everything and shut the whole goddamn country down. 90 billion motherfuckers stopped doing everything. And the British Empire started cringing. If you stop participating, and that's the trick, he keeps your attention. That Bobby was saying. He keeps your attention. He keeps you looking in one direction because he don't want you concentrating in the other. If you shut him down, shut the television, the radio, the movie, his food, all of that shit off, he ain't got a way into you. Now he got to come and shoot you. He got to he gotta show you what he really wants to do or has to do. But if you stop buying everything that belongs to him and you stop aggrandizing the beast, he will die. You keep him alive. You are the beast. There are principles of energy. Listen carefully. Principles of energy. Formed energy. Powerful principles of energy. Principles of consciousness awareness that exist to create harmony for themselves through havoc to you. Jack, it's the order of things. You can't blame them for it. Just like a leopard goes and hunts and kills the lamb, it's the order of things. You have higher evolutionary beings who you believe are supposed to be so sweet and loving and all. Because now I know life. Hey, these motherfuckers know how to get shit done now on a whole other level. They've learned to manipulate life. They've learned to condense it and change it and use it to do with it, but by that very act alone, they've created their own ceiling, because once you start pimping off somebody, once you start using somebody, once you start working off of somebody like these preachers do, like religion does, like government does, once you start pimping people, you have to keep them at that level so that they can remain your food source. And, system, and sustenance. Let me say that again. Disturbances in the natural ordered and harmonic flow of light create peripheral or ambient frequencies from which these principles of consciousness extract or feed and re receive their nourishment and sustenance. They are evil only in the sense that they cause us evil by our participation with them. Because ignorance is a food source. Most people or most entities that you call evil are actually acting upon self-preservation and are based on survival imperatives that were cultivated some billions of eons ago. 
We get trapped by them through our lack of instinctive self-awareness that the mind and the spirit inherits through a continual refinement of the corporeal envelope. Let me then say that again so that you'd understand. We get trapped by these entities who feed from our ignorance, who feed from us. Through our own lack of instinctive self-awareness, our own lack of instinctive self-awareness, that the mind and the spirit is supposed to inherit through a continual refinement of the corporeal envelope. So the more you live, the more you should know. The longer you live, the more you're supposed to know. You ain't supposed to be stupid at 50. And Lord knows that's when you get real dumb. You get real scared and stupid and go run in the church. You start running to look for Jesus after you get that first pain in your back. Oh, it's coming close to the end. Because that's the only out they're going to give you. Is to come to Jesus.